We're working hard to ensure a bright future for all of us, but we need your help too. We're facing some big challenges about how we manage water, so we've got some important choices to make. Back in the day, up and down the country, we built our waterways around current need and around industry of the time. Many such structures have no current purpose and it is impacting our wildlife. So if you imagine being here 150 years ago, this would have been a peaceful river. What our predecessors did during the Industrial Revolution was introduce a lock and a weir that we can see behind me. That severed the navigation for the migratory fish overnight. Prosperity and growth was, was great from trade into the heart of Birmingham, but the environment suffered quite severely at the time. We need to remove useless structures and let our waterways recover. Due to the pressure we have put on our waterways, four out of ten of our lakes, rivers, estuaries and coasts are not achieving their ecological and environmental goals. This affects all of us and our local wildlife. At the moment, the weir is a blockage. The salmon can get over just, but the shad, who aren't a great swimmer, can't get over there. The population before these were put in, we understand, was in the millions. Now, through research done by the Environment Agency and Seven Rivers Trust, we know there's about 6,000 to 10,000 fish, which is a tiny population. Nowadays, we're working with natural processes instead of against them, restoring rivers and reconnecting them to their floodplains. This slows the flow of water, reducing flood risk for people living downstream. This is Port Home Meadows in Huntingdon and it's one of the oldest and best floodplain meadows in the whole of the country. During the winter or in periods of heavy rainfall, the water will come up and it will flood the site. And actually that's a really, really important part of how the site is managed because if the flood water comes on, it deposits some of its silt and then the hay is cut and taken away. So over time, this meadow is actually gradually cleaning the river. So it's a real jewel in the crown that's really, really worth celebrating. Rivers can be restored in other ways too. Humans put in various dams and features which slow the flow. Beavers do that as part of their behaviour, so they create those complex habitats and just restore river systems to a healthier way of being. When we brought the beavers in, they were here for 10 weeks. In that time, they constructed four dams. And the water going out when we had the next significant rain was actually much, much lower than the water coming in and much more spread out. We were changing not just the way the water was flowing, but all the biology and everything that comes along with that. And this has become like a, a real oasis. And la in last summer's drought, for example, when the Environment Agency were pulling out dead fish from various rivers across the southwest, the fish here just got fatter and happier. Small changes, big picture.